Thanks for joining us. I'm Laura Yamada. And I'm Paula Akana. Police and public housing officials are struggling with the recent increase in violence in Kalihi. And now some say the Internet is helping stoke that rivalry between housing projects. Street fights between residents of the housing projects are being posted on YouTube. KITV4's Daryl Huff has the exclusive story. Daryl, now how is this different from the schoolyard fights that have been on YouTube for years? Well, Paula, these fights are more of a community event. The combatants are often adults representing their neighborhoods, and critics say the videos are leading admiring children into potential trouble. A subtitle on this video describes it as a scrap between CAM 4 housing and KPT, Cujillo Park Terrace. Note the red cloth, gang colors, on one fighter. Different housing get like different set, like set grounds, backgrounds, all of that. Like Merites is Bloods, KPT is Crips. Chad Cottonoy Richardson was a spectator at one fight. It's like hectic. Like once the two guys start fighting, other people want to start jumping in. The easy to find videos on YouTube show large crowds, many spectators shooting their own video. And they instant message each other on MySpace and they leave blogs of, you know, where the meeting's at and who's going to be doing the filming. Social workers say that these obviously well-planned fight events are promoting an attitude of violent rivalry and could be creating an atmosphere that will encourage more people to join gangs. Yeah, it does increase the hatred. There is no way to know whether the fights and videos are a factor in the kind of violence that led housing officials to set a curfew at Kalihi Valley Homes. But Curtis Kropar, operator of a non-profit internet cafe, says the videos are increasingly popular. They do come in and they do want to watch the fight videos. It's not just the kids, it's the adults too. You know, 20 years old, 30 years old. Well, to me, it's, it's, it's cool with me. <laughs> this internet cafe customer, a Mayor Wright housing resident, says people shouldn't be so worried. It's a fun thing to do though. How long as you don't get knocked out though? Critics of these videos say they've tried to get YouTube to take them down, but they don't stay down long, if at all. And because they're not overly sexual, they can't be blocked by child protection software. Reporting live, Daryl Huff, KITV4 News.